What is going on, everyone? Welcome back into Road Graders. It's your guy, Cole Jackson, coming to you today on the Russell Street Report, brought to you by DNL Tinting. Go check out dltinting.com for all the services they provide window tinting, headlight restoration, car detailing, all that good stuff. Located in Parkville and White Marsh. Go check them out for all of those needs. Today, we are going to be talking about. Gus the Bus Edwards taking a look at his 80-yard three-touchdown game uh, and having a little discussion around do the Ravens need an upgrade at the running back position. Today is trade deadline day coming to you in just a few hours. I think it's super, super prudent that they take a look at this, but Gus has really been heating up lately looking at some of his numbers. Um, First three weeks of the season, he had zero force missed tackles. Since then, he's had 12 over five weeks so getting a little bit better in that area is yards after contacts gone up um and he's doing really well with the blocking he's given and i think that's kind of the key and what we're going to look at here um so i want to take a look at some of the some of the concepts he really had success on how i think the ravens can carve out a little bit of an identity if they keep going to these and also take a look at what he did in the red zone because that's an area where the ravens have struggled and where gus was really good in this one so we're going to start here on his first touchdown um you know obviously this he had a he had a play that for about five yards that set this up um they're one yard out here nothing too crazy going on but still a play where they've had um some issues the ravens are basically going to come out with a duo concept you're going to get um a deuce block here from left guard left tackle you're going to get an ace block from zeitler and linderbaum inside and it's basically just a duo iso lead type play up the middle there you go right there and you know worked out really well i think charlie kolar missed a block here you got kolar and andrews out here on the sides and they want to take these inside guys um with a straight up the middle run the edge rushers on a one yard rush don't really matter um or shouldn't say they don't matter um they don't matter as much as you see this play comes in and gets made but gus is running through that contact but the safety here is almost who makes this play and so charlie's got to be more you see right here he goes out for the edge player and gives him a closer line, whereas this player has to come further off the edge. So he gets there, um, but luckily Gus doing what he does so well. You see him get nice and low here. He braces for contact and just moving forward. <laughs> just look at this line of four Ravens, um, you know, carrying these guys to the back of the end zone. Really good blocking, good on Gus, really good at running through contact there. Um, here we get to another play. You're going to get a gap run. It's going to be your basic power. You're going to get down blocks from the right side of the offensive line and a pull from John Simpson. And you're going to get what Gus has been doing so well. And I want to go back and take a look at this because it's going to be basically the theme of the video and why I think Gus is having so much success. So you're going to get... Oh, sorry, I should have mentioned this came from an unbalanced line. So you have Mark Andrews aligned as the left tackle and you have... Uh, Ronnie Stanley on the right side. Um, and that's super relevant because you're getting the down blocks here, right? So you're getting Zeitler down block and you're getting Moses taking that outside shoulder, working that inside. And then you got Ronnie coming down and it's actually Ronnie's block. He's going to bang here and then work into the linebacker. As he does that, you see him redirect. And this is what I want to see from Gus, right? So Gus hitting that gap, sees Ronnie coming off and he cuts inside right like that and that's what i think is the difference with gus right now and where he's having so much success versus you know just hitting his gap trying to follow his lead blocker he's got that vision he's got his eyes up he's seeing where his blocks are set cutting that inside so really good work there by by gus edwards back down inside the red zone and then this is just a beautiful play just to go back to the play design you're going to get power to the left this time down blocks from the left side of the line again unbalanced line mark andrews is the right tackle you have morgan moses as the left tackle ronnie is the uh tight end so again unbalanced line zeitler's gonna pull here gus is just gonna use his vision and patience so right there the gap where he's supposed to be running is kind of working off zeitler here or cutting it up inside but he sees the way his blocks are set up sucks that safety up gets into the end zone so just good vision good patience i think that's kind of the key that i want you guys to take away from this video here's where we're going to get into the concept where i think they can 
build a bit of an identity. So these plays are coming right now from late in the third quarter into the fourth quarter. Super important because the Ravens are trying to run down the clock. This is just basic outside zone. It's a play that was more of a Todd Munkin than a Greg Roman. We looked at a lot of gap plays earlier in this video. Now we're going to see him in some zone concepts. So his aim point is going to be out side here. Everyone's taking a scoop, scoop step right. Um, and they're just working that outside zone. And really good work by John Simpson to look back inside here. Tyler Linderbaum, is this is where he functions so well. But getting guys moving, getting bodies out, and Gus with his patience, his vision, looking back inside, seeing that gap and how it can open up. John Simpson going back inside to create that gap, hitting it. Um, so, you know, good work there. The only way this play could have been a little bit better is if, um, you know, John Simpson had cut inside earlier rather than just reaching there. You see right there's the reach so if he gets contact on him he's gone up into that safety but see how he runs through contact there he grabs rather than getting tackled he runs for you know an additional four or five yards well maybe four um here i think you get inside zone so similar play except the uh the steps outside aren't as wide rather than aiming out at the tackles butt cheek he's kind of aiming inside at the guard and same idea just running off his blocks here really well. Um, this play was also blocked up extremely well. You get that nice tray block here from Ricard at the tight end with Morgan Moses. He's going to work second level. Linderbaum and Zeitler demolishing the one tech there. And Gus working off his block. So just really good work there. This is These zone concepts uh, were functioning pretty well in this game. Here we're going to get outside zone left. And you see Gus's patience there. So he's, again, everybody's taking that outside step left aiming out at the outside of the tackle here and he's going to just work off the you're going to get Zeitler coming in here i don't know it's linderbaum he works off as of. john simpson again with a good block to turn inside you see him get out into this guy as he does that he's got that inside leverage the aim point being here if linderbaum was able to overtake this is gone right so um simpson knowing to turn inside there this is a tough block for linderbaum to reach that's leaky photo. He just gets out there, but the way he works off Linderbaum's block, rather than trying to force it to the gap he's supposed to be running into, he sees what's going on and lets you know plays that out or inside leverage from Tyler Linderbaum's block. Here we're going outside again to the right, again cutting that back inside, hard running, um, you know, not trying to force it outside. I think that's an issue we've seen with Justice Hill a little bit this year. Um, you know, everybody's getting out there, getting moving. He sees that he's got a little bit of an opening here. You see Patrick McCarry and his run blocking that isn't so stellar. Um, he loses that inside leverage. If not, this cut block was probably, or cut block, cut back was pretty clear. Um, but, you know, good on Gus to see that and use the cut back on wide zone. Here we get into a gap concept. Gus patience working off that block from John Simpson as the puller. So, again, down blocks from the right side of the line. John Simpson's going to pull this way. And again, he's, he could be forcing the issue and going outside here, but instead he's patient, waits for that block to set up. This was on third and one as well, so that was for a first down. And then on his final touchdown of the day. You see it's not blocked up too well. You get Patrick McCary again. Patrick McCary's run blocking, not his strength. He's not going to get much movement. He gets pushed back into Ricard. Gus keeps his legs moving. Issues in the red zone we've seen from this team. So, I mean... Looked pretty good for Gus on this day, I won't lie. Uh, I think the key for me is seeing the way he's using his vision, his patience behind the line in those zone concepts. I think that's the most exciting thing. Um, so it goes to you guys. I'm curious what you guys think. Do the Ravens need to upgrade at running back? Is Gus the guy? I want to hear from you guys. Hit that like button, hit subscribe. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Be good to yourselves, be good to each other. Peace out, everyone.